Marwan Barghouti is a Palestinian political leader who has been tried in Israel and convicted of organizing terrorist attacks. While serving a verdict of five life sentences, Barghouti has been labeled by his supporters as the Palestinian Nelson Mandela. Before his conviction in 2002, Barghouti was a leader in the secular Fatah movement, but also won the support from political rival Hamas because of his decision to adopt the armed struggle against Israel. Faras, who is a Fatah politician and a friend of Barghouti, says that Marwan might be the only one who can create a Palestinian national unity government. Hamas is now demanding Barghouti's release from prison in exchange for a captured Israeli soldier. Saber Abu Karesh is the head of Wahed Society in Gaza, an organization created by Hamas to keep track of Palestinian prisoners in Israel. In the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Palestinians, they are a leader of the Sahyonists. There are more than 10,000 leaders. The leader of Marwan Barghouti is a political leader for the Palestinian people. But in Israel, which has so far taken a hard stance against freeing the convicted terrorist, there is heavy skepticism regarding the possibility of Barghouti reuniting the divided Palestinians. Yoram Schweitzer of the Israeli Institute of National Security Studies explains. ברגותי has few Israeli supporters. Chaim Oron, head of the left-wing Meretz party in the Israeli parliament, negotiated with Barghouti in the past and has also been visiting him in prison. I think that the issue of the Syrian Israel, and particularly the Syrian that support the two countries of the United States, is an interest of Israel. Oron Barghouti believes in the support of the two countries of the United States. Currently, media access to Barghouti is not permitted. According to Israeli journalist Avi Sascharov, who has interviewed Barghouti several times, there is no guarantee that the convicted terrorist will not return to the armed struggle if he is released. I think that this is a man who is not just behind the scenes. That is, even today he is not willing to give you all the things that are good and good and good between the two. I think that he is in all of a sudden saying something that he really thinks. He wants peace, but he says that if we don't get our rights, we will also use other ways that are not a matter of conversation. Isascharov says that even though Barghouti is responsible for terrorist attacks that murdered several Israelis, it might be in the country's interest to free him. In the top line, we also want to be a partner that we can trust him, that we can trust him, that we can trust him, that we can trust him. And Marwan Barghouti is also one of those people that we can trust him, that we can trust him. Today, Hamas governs Gaza, while Fatah controls the West Bank. 
many Palestinians realize that unity is a necessary step on the way to statehood. For Israelis, a united Palestinian government is needed in order to keep alive the option of a two-state solution. Marwan Barghouti might be the best hope for both.